Hey, hey, Ace Audits back with another video. So today we're going to be having a look at the World Freight Terminal at Manchester Airport. Right, so the reason why I'm back down here, I was actually going to look at the aeroplane um, you can probably tell it's a bit blustered here today. There's lots and lots of wind. Now that's nothing to do with the curry that I had last night. We've uh, had a bit of a storm in this area overnight. So I've caught the tail end of it. Um, now when I got there, the um, wind had actually subsided quite a lot. So uh, I thought, well, whilst I'm here, I'm not going to uh, waste a journey. And I thought I'd uh, just pop into this estate have a look at the businesses here. Yeah, so, so I've no idea what any of the businesses here are. So I thought I'd just come along and have a look. Now, at times I'm guessing that um, you'll hear all the wind blusteriness on the video. I'm gonna try and edit it out a little bit. Best that I can. Um, just to make the viewing experience a bit better for you guys. So, n number 308. Can't see uh, which company this is. Hi, do you know what company operates from here? Sorry? Do you know which company operates from here or is it multiple? A lot of different companies. All oh, right, so just like an office block general. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No worries, thank you. So there we go, it's a mixed occupancy office block. Right on the edge of our Manchester Airport. The road this uh, I'm coming on to, it, it follows all the way around to the other side. It's like a, a loop. And uh, last time I was here, there was loads of activity on the other side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk around. Let's see what this building here is, 302. Oh, look at that. Border Force. Wasn't expecting that, so detention centre. So the entrance is located at the opposite side of this building. Ah, interesting. All right, well, I guess in that case, it would be rude not to go and have a look before I continue my, uh, my loop around the roads. Just plant machinery on that side. It's like the air conditioning or heat pumps. So yeah, this is what's out on the other side. There's uh, tons of stuff to look at. That's the fire exit. Customs. And the staff entrance. Care and custody. I've seen that before at a prison visit that I did. No entries. There we go. Border Force fan. All of the windows are fogged out, so they don't want people peeking in. Oh, 
That's another fire exit. That's just saying the sign there, I don't know if you can see it. Saying to use the other side. Alright, so there we go. Border Force detention centre and uh, customs reception. Ryan, uh, do you reckon they'll charge me if I have a go on it? <laughs> Ten pound a step. like some kind of a maintenance depot, a workshop, it says there, GSE, ground support equipment workshop. It's got loads of uh, bits of machinery over there stored. So we've got some people coming out. Yeah, yeah, you. Oh, yeah. What's in your to hold my camera and do the video for me? <laughs> Just interested in what goes on here. Right. Um, videoing. The premises. It's actually against the airport rules. Against the airport rules? Yes. Why is it against the airport rules? Because this is all critical equipment. Yeah. The operation. Okay, and what's that for? What, what jurisdiction does that fall under? I've not a, I've not a clue. But if I'm not supposed to look out there, it's a much bigger call. Thanks. You've been doing it. It's technically a security breach. Right, well, this is a publicly accessible this, area. This bit, this bit isn't. Yeah, but well, what I'm saying is, this is a publicly accessible area. No, no, no. Okay, no. Not denied, not denied. The photographer that's in the UK allow you yeah. to make recordings and take videos and stuff like that. Yeah. percent um, But the cargo area itself is not a public area. It is a public area. The cargo area itself is it is. Well, it's actually, it's actually right. Okay. Are you aware of a piece of legislation called the Criminal Justice Act? Uh, no, not a clue. Right, okay. Would you like to see it? I've got it because it, it clearly defines what it's going to start on the public price. Yeah. Well, I'm, not, okay. I'm not really, but I'm just, I'm just right. making sure that I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm not videoing anything. I understand you can say it's creating a security risk for the airport. Might, but you might need some content to any, anything nefarious or anything like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm all the check. I'm not being yeah. funny. I'm all the checking because it's an airport. Absolutely. People videoing the equipment that ultimately is used yeah. on aircraft. But I've got no intention of going airside. No, all. no, no. Because that would just be silly one to say. Yeah, this, <laughs> this equipment does go inside. It does, but this is a public place. Yeah, it's just, like I say, it's just a pure fact that you've been yeah. doing the equipment. They yeah. can become a, a breach of security. Well, it's not a breach of security, it was for you it is. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So for us it is. <laughs> yeah, but looking at a legal side, I'm, I'm within my voice. I want to get 
I'm just asking you. Stop that recording. Yeah, I'm just asking you. If you would like, she's going to our equipment. That's all. And can we agree on something? Yeah. It's a request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't, I'm not into the law on that. I'm just yeah, yeah. asking you. I do this all the time. So, um, I yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it before. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, it's getting to that. <laughs> yeah. I've seen people on YouTube doing it for yeah. hard, for hard thing. Right. Yeah, for me, I like just like to... Like I say, it's more of a serious for us. Yeah. That's why you're going to win. Uh-huh. Airside equipment, so that's all. I understand that. So I can dodge it. Or anything like that. So I've walked out there, see what business is here, what they do. Find out a bit more about them all. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm not like that. Really nothing against that. Yeah. So, I will be staying on the footpath. Not going to go outside because you know. Yeah, well, well precisely. And every, everything's on camera as well, you see, so we've got to make that's sure fine, that we're. That's why I wear face masks because I like to protect my privacy. Yeah, um, which I'm not concerned about. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to be aware that we're doing his equipment, his uh -huh. potential. Is. Okay. Yeah, like I say, it's a request. Yeah. It's not an obligation. No. I've actually finished doing my bit of recording for this building anyway. That's so. Yeah, I've not got issues whatsoever. Yeah, you've been nice and friendly with me. That's no issue. Nah, I've got problems. I've got problems problem just making sure I'm doing my job. Whilst yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But well, it's not against the rules. It's not. It's not illegal what I'm doing or anything like no, that. No, no. So, yeah. I'm not even. I'm not even going to disagree. With you. Nope. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. See ya. <laughs> Right, so there we go. Jet2.com ground support equipment workshop. So, yeah, nice friendly member of staff, no issues. He just doesn't really want me to be filming with her, which uh, is understandable. But, you know, this is a public place and uh, I'm just interested in what goes on here. Right, so here we are back at that gold star. Doors open. There is a tractor unit inside. Yeah, I'm just having a look at the businesses along here. No, that's here. I'm sorry. It's like the wind's going, sorry. Right. All right, super. There we go, we just have some new parts. Um, it's a secure site. I said it's not a secure site. Doors are wide open. So we uh, just said, oh, all right. Perfect. <laughs> I've got some easy solution. Alright, so let's go and have a look at this place. So, we uh, went past it earlier on, but uh, we didn't really stop, nothing much was going on, so this time I'm going to ring the bell and ask them what they do here. Um, hi, I'm just uh, passing through the area. 
and I'm just having a look at what sort of businesses operate in this area and I've just seen this is like a border force detention centre. Can you tell me more about what you do here? Is that possible? Thank you. Say again, sorry. It's up, up the ramp behind you. Up the ramp? All right, thanks. Hiya. Anything that you drill for there, you need to delete. No, I don't. You don't. Talking rubbish. It's a secure site. You're talking rubbish. It's a secure no, site. Not. not talking rubbish. CAA regulations. I'll tell you what, since you're talking good. rubbish, I'm... I'll take photographs of any secure right, site. Right, are you trying to prevent me from moving? No, I'm not no, trying to Right, if you do, I'll push you out of the way. That's fine. Um, all I'm saying is... You need to... You're talking oh. rubbish. You're coming at me with an aggressive stance like that. You can do one, mate. If you had come to me with a bit of a nicer attitude, I'd speak to you. Standing in front of me, trying to stop moving. All right, so uh, those two puppets have disappeared now. So if you look just through there, you can see. Uh, Um, hi there, I make videos and I'm just in the area today. I'm just like looking at businesses that operate on this estate and what they do and stuff like that. Um, I've just come across the Border Force Centre. Um, I just wonder if there's anyone who can just tell me a bit more about what you do here. Sorry, I can't hear you very well at all. Are you okay if I send someone down to you in a minute? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, no Thank worries. you. Cheers. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, it's a bit windy. <laughs> sorry? It's a bit windy out here. So, it's sorry. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, I was just trying to say to the lady, she couldn't hear me very well. Yeah. Um, I do like videos and things like that. And today I'm just in this area, looking at what happens in this area, what businesses okay. are, what happens and stuff. Which businesses have you found? I've just had a little walk around the loop so far. Have a look at the others and stuff. So yeah, just to see what's going on. And I saw Border Force here, so I thought that was interesting. So, no, we're not full. Okay. The door, Who are you guys? We're care and custody. Okay, what is it you guys do? Uh, we look after detainees that are, are being held by care and custody. Okay. Right, so like people who, who like have come into the airport and then they get held somewhere, this is like where they get held, is it? That, that kind of thing? Here enough, right. Okay. Okay. Super, thank you. So, Border Force is that side? That's Border Force, <laughs> uh, with the Christmas door, yeah. Thanks, I think they just popped me off onto you guys. Yeah. No worries. Hiya. Uh, <laughs> Super. So I'll come around to chat with you. Yeah, yeah. No worries. All right, let's try this one again. Hi, uh, yes, basically, sorry, I do I do like short videos in, of, of things and today like I'm in this area just having a look at like the businesses that operate from here, what they do and stuff like that and I've come across like Border Force and this, this centre so I was just out really just trying to find out more about what you do here. Okay, uh, well this, this is a public counter for the public for the purpose of the importation of goods. Uh, are you importing goods into the UK? Oh no, I'm just uh, I, make, I just make videos. Okay, you only, you only come here if you're importing goods into the UK. 
Okay. All right. Okay. So it's like uh, customs. Oh, bye. Bye. All right. Thanks. Oh, doesn't want to speak to me. Quite uh, in a rush to get off the phone. But no worries. So Manchester Airport group, Manchester Airport, Manchester Transport. So yeah, this is uh, by the looks of it where the vehicles all get serviced. Mm -hmm. Pedestrian entrance. So I don't think there's anything to see through the shutters. There are like a translucent shutter, but yeah, anything to see. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, SOS. Okay, but their doors are open. Cut, sorry, my eyes. Yeah, I'm the head of the What are you filming? Very. Why? Windy today. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically, I make videos on okay. various things. I find interesting. Have your authority to film here. So today, in this area, yeah. just having the nosy to see what goes on, find out more about the companies right here. It's okay. all positive yeah. stuff uh, that I try to sort of do. Yeah. I'm not dodgy, that's your concern. No, it's just I, like I get that. concerned because obviously there's, there's a lot of expensive equipment around here and we don't know why people are filming. Oh, that's understandable. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'll check videos and stuff and yeah. Yeah, just find out more about places. So, so what? I've got a YouTube channel. Oh, right, okay. I've got to YouTube. All yeah, right. Stuff. So that's why I like to have positive interactions yeah, yeah, yeah. with people and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I've just had some guys down there came up, got quite aggressive, tried to get in front of me and stop me from moving. No, it's not. It's, it's not to do that. It's just, <laughs> so, obviously, that, 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 that's our property there. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, we've had other people come around and they've actually gone into there and they started filming with them. Right. From a security perspective yeah, and yeah. safety perspective, we just want to know who people are and yeah, yeah. the purpose for so, it. You will have noticed, I've not strayed from the foot yeah. of upwards across the road. Yeah, that's fine. I've got no intention of going any further than that. That's fine. Or any yeah. bike tracks, so, well, you know, yeah. Alright, you have a good Christmas tonight. Alright, cheers. Yeah. See ya. Are you able to tell me anything about what you do? Yeah. Which comes here? Alright. Yeah, are you able to tell me anything about what you do here? Um, well, for ourselves, we provide all of the maintenance for Manchester Airport. So all right. like this, all the vehicles. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's basically just a maintenance facility. Right. Yeah, for, for the airport. We've been here since uh, March of this year. Okay, do you have like a big workforce, big team? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair, fairly sized yeah. team. It's cool. uh, yeah, very technical kind of guys that, that are working on the equipment because there's such a variety of equipment from you know your general equipment cars mm. to trucks to, to the more specialist equipment that right. operates airside. Yeah, uh, so what kind of skills would people say like apply for a job here? What kind of skills would they need? Uh, the, 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 the kind of minimum is an MPQ level three in, in uh, uh, vehicle maintenance. Okay. Yeah, so. so they need to come to you with that qualification. So yeah. Yeah, if it doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so if any of my viewers are looking for like this kind of job, yeah. how would they how would they go about applying for it? They, they would have to go onto the Mac website. There's there's, there's a website they can go on, it, or they may see it through LinkedIn. They may see it through any of the kind right. of job job ads. So the, the main Manchester Airport Mag group. Yeah, yeah uh, Manchester website. Airport group. Yeah. yeah. So they would go onto there, and then all the vacancies at Manchester Airport group are on there. So they just look down if they had that skill set. If there was a vacancy, yeah. they just apply online, and then submit a statement and a letter, and, and then they obviously you then go through a filter yeah, and yeah. have a look at that. And it's just, it's they come for an interview. Super. Yeah. Any of you are in, the, in this area and want a job like this, then you can probably uh, potentially come and look at it. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, we're, we're fairly full at the moment, yeah. uh, and it, you know, it, it's a good place to work, and not many people leave. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's. Uh, That's always a good thing if, if, you've, got, if you've got good retention. If you've got good retention, yeah. 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 I wish we definitely do have it. You know, it's uh, the, the good thing about the, the guys working here, they, they like so much, is variety. 
it's, it's a, there's a lot of different aspects to it be it working on a car or working on you know mm -hmm. a more complex piece of equipment yeah, yeah. Um, and that's that's what you like no two days are ever, no, no two hours are ever the same to be honest <laughs> yeah I can uh, imagine which is good for them yeah, yeah, yeah. Course, which is good for them so. totally yeah oh that's great thanks um, a lot for, uh, for stopping yeah, no, to no, chat that, with that's, me that's fine everybody else that's around is that it's, it's mainly logistical yeah, yeah. kind of pieces that they've, that they've got so um <laughs> Yeah, I just have a nosy find out what companies here, what, what sort of things they do. Obviously, yeah. there's a lot of places here do like airside stuff. I'm mm. not even going to attempt to try and sort of venture yeah. that way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, I mean, it, you know, if, if you're going into any, any other areas, it might be an idea just to, to, to contact Mag themselves and just say, look, this, mm -hmm. this is what we're doing. Because it, it does, it, you know, when you see someone out the window and there's someone with a camera, you think, what's going on here? They... Yeah, yeah, but then again, it's also about how that person would react to a person with a camera. Yeah, indeed. Um, are they going to be standoffish? Yeah. Or are they just going to be inquisitive? Yeah. You know, just, just, it's, nice. it's really for, for my perspective just make you know you know because uh, as I say we've had, we've had one or two other people who have put in gear cameras if you like and doing it. Yeah yeah why do you need to get that special if you want to know something like that at all? You know? Yeah yeah there is there is that usually yeah. what I do is I have a look on the website as well yeah, just to yeah, try and yeah, find yeah, out yeah. off there but yeah. I like to just get a bit of footage from the ground. Yeah, okay. Normally what I do is get a drone out of the bag and fly a drone over as well. <laughs> don't, don't do that yet. I'm not going to do that here. <laughs> No, I mean, anything's a... possible, but you've got to go through the right channel. But, yeah. but, but drones and airports don't, don't tend to be. Even if I wanted to, my drone would be on the way back from the YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great shot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Thanks All a lot. Right, thanks a lot. Take care. All right, so this is as far as we can go down here. And we've got stuff going on. This is a company called uh, Mates. It looks like we've got this uh, vehicle loading a van. Oh yeah. Can I ask you where you told me? Just interested in what's going on. Oh, yeah. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Just, just asking the question. No worries, yeah, I'm just interested in what goes on in areas like this and stuff, yeah. so I just make short films. Yeah, fine, thank films. you. So thank that's you. a great operation of the truck. <laughs> of the loader. <laughs> Right, so let's uh, head around to the next part. There's a bit of a walk around there, so I'm just going to uh, pause this recording here, head on round, and I'll pick this up in a minute. Um, so I've just had a call. Bear me a second, sorry, I'll just uh, get myself set up. <laughs> There we go. Ready? Yeah. Um, so we've had a call. Um, woman matching your description. Just videoing around here. Yeah. Um, it's not an issue for us. However, we just wanted to make sure that everything's all right and everything should be as is. Fine. Yeah. Um, what's your What's the purpose of you being in the so, cargo area? Sorry. So I've explained to everybody that I've spoken to today with the exception of one person exception of i've with, got sorry wind, with the wind, sorry so with the exception of one person um i've basically explained the reason what, what i'm doing um uh, i'm just i film areas places that i find interesting okay i've come here today because this is an interesting place to me filming to see what companies are here see what goes on see what see what happens here yeah it's an interesting 
conversation stuff. And I said, there's no nefarious reasons. No, 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 that's fine. I've said that to them all as well. Yeah. The only issue there has been was one chap from, I forget the name of it, one of the buildings just over here. Okay. The first one. Um, Gold stuff. No, God, that's the one, yeah, yeah. Basically, two, two of them came out quite sort of not very friendly, I'd say, is the best way of describing it. Blocks my exit, and I said, move out of my way. Stop, stop trying to block my path, otherwise I'll push you out of the way. He moved aside, and I walked past them. I told them to talk in complete rubbish what they were coming out with. I left, and that was it. Okay. You can um, appreciate on both sides that we have a duty to protect you as well. So oh, yeah, yeah. I understand sure that. What's happened to you? Um, I'm, I'm fine doing what I do. I do this all the time, you know, so there's no issues. Yeah. As far as but I'm like, like my colleague said, it's, it's, not just, it's not just the safety of staff that work here. It's obviously the safety of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Just what we don't want to happen is for them to get a bit heated. Uh, something happen that should need to happen. Um, just as a precautionary measure from the people that are obviously calling it in for us to attend, mm -hmm. is it could be a security risk. Because it's because it's near the international airport. Yeah, yeah. It's a class as a security risk. There's also I'm not saying people like you or people matching your description, but there is a lot of uh, robbery and theft mm -hmm. all around the cargo area. Yeah, well. yeah. So, so that's that's the reason why yeah, we're here. I completely understand the security concerns. I've had a chat yeah. with the guy at the very end, Jet Two. Yeah. There's no issues with it. It's, it's like I, I do. And I've tried my very best to explain to them I'm not here to do anything dodgy. No. I've even said to them, it's like, I'm staying on the footpath. I'm not even going past the footpath boundary line, right, on, into their area. I'm just, yeah. it is a sensitive area. I do get that. So yeah. I'm just keeping my distance, doing what I do, and then I'll be on the way. Yeah. Uh, have you got any questions for us? Questions, queries? What else have we been up to today? <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in the terminal. Um, you, you like airport police? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so we we work at the airport, so we're based at Manchester Airport. Um, so we cover cargo as part of that. Um, so like I said, we've, we've had the one call. Um, speak to yourself. Various going on. Uh, apart from that, no, no, yeah. issues, no issues at all. So. Yeah, so what, what sort of things do you do as airport police? It's just airport security, so we're, we're firearms, so yeah, yeah. we're specialist officers, but um, we're here to obviously the security is come off the airport. Well, that's like, it's the first time I've had a firearms officer come out to me, that's quite yeah. funny. No, no, it's nothing. <laughs> put that to one side. Um, we do have an armed staff as well, but they're all busy doing their things, yeah, yeah. so we've, we've been asked to attend. Yeah. Uh, so it's nothing, nothing in. in, in yeah. You know. So what kind of things do you do in, in your line of duty and your job that you do here? What kind of things do you uh, have to attend? What what sort of things everything, do you get to? Everything. The, the airport is its own sort of entity. Uh, yeah. So we, we get we get different jobs in comparison to everywhere else. But yeah, just everything and anything. So um, yeah. No worries. Can yeah. I just yeah. take a note of your numbers? Of course, can get one seven eight two two. Perfect, thank you very much. It's great, you're both based at the airport. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Get threatening with me. Yeah, it's like that guy there, um, where they blocks my path. Yeah. It's like, move out of my way or I'll push you out of the way. Is that simple? Yeah. Um, and I will always try and de escalate a situation. And it's like that, I could have stopped and argued with him, just escalated it. And I'm not yeah. really interested in doing that. So that's why as soon as they moved out of my way, I just walked off. So I'm yep. just talking complete rubbish, what you're coming out with, just left it. Yeah. So, yeah. Stay safe anyways. Enjoy your day. Absolutely. You too. Merry Christmas. You too. Have have good New Year as well. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks. <laughs> uh, firearms officers, that's funny. Right, so uh, here we are at, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this company, is it Onata, Dinata, Nata? So I'm not going to go down there because that's all, uh, security controlled, that's all uh, airside, so I'm not going to go past these uh, black gates. Have a look. 
at this company, see what they're doing, see what's going on. So this bit here is all the office area. So uh, only recently constructed this building. I remember it a few years ago. It used to be, um, if I recall properly, I think it was a hangar of some sort. And in, in just like the past few years, this uh, this one's been thrown up. So I'm going to stay on the other side of the road for this one because the pavement becomes non-existent. There we go, we've got the forklifts, uh, forklift trucks there are loading the vans and the trucks. I've got somebody coming out to have a chat. I can't hear you very well. Sorry, I'm not going to shout, I can't hear you very well. Are you recording that? I am, yeah. Alright, who are you with? Sorry? Who are you with? Who am I with? Yeah. Me. Doing? Filming. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Just for my own purposes. Okay. I go well, around. You know it's an airport though, don't you? I do, yeah. I'm well aware of that. Okay, there is. You can't miss the fact that that's an airport. <laughs> I know, but there is security <laughs> yeah. issues around I get that. a place like this. Alright, so put your mind at ease and straight away, I'm not up to anything dodgy. I'm not up to anything nefarious or anything like that. Okay. I just go around different areas, film things uh, that I find interesting. Make some phone calls and go speak to the airport police and just let them. You do whatever you need to okay. do. It's absolutely fine. Um, but just make sure you tell them that you know I'm not. I've said I'm not up to anything but nefarious. If you are doing something dodgy, you're not going to tell me, are you? So. Well, there is that you as well. You can just say, oh, I'm not yeah. doing out dodgy. But well, I just like. It's to, okay. What I do. I'll let them know. If, you, if you're Especially in. Especially with your. Uh, everything's covered up. I'm just, just getting over a cold, so I'm actually sort of just keeping that okay, for myself. It doesn't look good though, does it? It doesn't matter yeah. what I look so, like, really. I'll make the call. All right, that's fine. <laughs> so uh, yeah, calling the uh, police. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. When you call the police, please don't dial 999. Huh? <clears throat> Sorry, that's just bad timing, that one, sir. That's just bad timing with that thing there beeping. I was saying, well, if you call the police, don't call 999 because it's not an emergency. No, so, all right. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Right, so he's just taking a photograph of me. So I will be requesting that. There it goes again, back inside. Whoop, the door's just come down and it back up it goes. I thought it's gonna wallop the uh, forklift truck. So what's quite funny here is uh, where these cars are coming up here. So that's a public road. Where I'm stood, it's a private road, but it's uh, accessible from the other side. On this side, they've got uh, barriers. 
That's a bit daft, that, isn't it? Having uh, barriers to a road you can just like drive around. So now we've got uh, four people who've uh, come out to join the party. So if I stand here, as those forklifts come out, I should be able to get a better view. Looks like I've got somebody else coming out to chat. Or maybe he's just on a litter duty. Mm Oh yeah, I'd just like to make you aware of something. Okay, under the, under the Data Protection Act, under GDPR. Well, we've, we've Can I? Police, that's fine. So okay. If you want to hang around, would you like me to just uh, explain to you that under GDPR, yeah, don't do anything with that footage you've just taken off me. I will be requesting it in the subject access request. Now that's what you call ignorance. Chap with the glasses, ignorant man. So yeah, there we go. Let's take a look then. Right, so there we go, that there. So an Arta with uh, ignorant staff who uh, don't want to discuss things with me. They just want to call the police. They're not willing to listen. This unit here is uh, empty. This is a new unit as well. It's a nice unit. So, um, electric charge points there. Okie dokes, so I'm going to call it today. Um, the rain clouds are coming and I'm getting out of here. So hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care everybody. See you on the next one. A sod it's out.